it's your boy T Bear reaction. The days is um usually it's means money, but I'm like say I like to mix things up now. This is my thing going forward though. But <coughs> at the same time, um still uh keeping some part some stuff for the theme of the day, like wrestling and all as well too. Now, as I said on my early videos is wrestling mania week. I'm gonna try my best to get as much of the wrestling mania other base videos I can, maybe from part from no one, maybe some other websites as well too, and this is a part from no one. Um, I'm doing the ones I I want to get out of the way at first. This one too, and this one's a cool one to do. So this is uh you know thing about WrestleMania is always good to have returns as well as debuts though. So we could we with some any uh crazy Kings debut, and queens. crazy debuts or return this WrestleMania? Who knows? Well anyway, without further ado, we'll take our twelve great surprise returns and debut of WrestleMania. Let's let's get it. Kings and queens and in-betweens, you have just bared witness to a WrestleMania moment. Patent, copyright, trademark. And just in case you didn't know you were seeing one, they would be sure to tell you. WrestleMania moments come in all forms, but one that has become much more commonplace in the last decade plus has been the lovely lads and lasses of WWE making an unexpected appearance. So much so that people are now able to look forward to such a surprise on the level of a WrestleMania match and entrance and other assorted pageants. Entry. Next week, we'll talk about all the best debuts from after WrestleMania. Oh. But for now, I'm Tempest Hailing from Parts Fun Known, and I'm these are more hold off on that till after WrestleMania. Are the 12 greatest surprise returns and debuts in WrestleMania history. But before we get on with this list, please make sure, of course, the I still gotta do uh, the top best entrances and um, and also the best in, the best and worst of uh, WrestleMania. If you like this video, subscribe and enable notifications to always on so you never miss a WrestleMania list just like it. We've done a lot of them this past month, so make sure you check them out. Honorable mention, Steve Austin, WrestleMania oh, 38. Yeah. An honorable mention in the sense that it wasn't much of a surprise that the Texas Rattlesnake returned to Texas to take part in the Kevin Owens show, but even with the rumors of Steve Austin's in-ring return 19 years after his last match, it had to be seen to be believed. Suplex on the floor. I still can't believe I saw that. Number 12, Bray Wyatt, oh. WrestleMania 34. Taking the bottom spot as it only took place on the pre show is Bray Wyatt. Yeah, Fresh and, um, that documentary, I gotta check that out. I'll probably check out tomorrow on my work from home day. Chop his soak in the lake of reincarnation. But whereas most emerged from the lake infused with a character from yesteryear, Bray simply emerged as a good boy, helping his former show. rival and now friend Woken Matt Hardy to win the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. It's a fun yeah, spot. I kind of wish they kept that. Um, they kept that going on the, um, the pre-show. The Andre the ba Giant uh, Battle Royal. Now he's going to smack down like. To me, it's like a slap in the face on guys who, like, because that was like a, little, a like a little small opportunity for folks to be on WrestleMania. They should at least put that on pre-show, to be honest. And it's as much a payoff to this rivalry as we were going to get. The only quasi-negative about this is you can tell that the crowd were not quite sure if Bray Wyatt teleporting into the ring meant he was also in the match or not, right. and thus the reaction to Matt winning is a tad delayed, but... I mean, oh well. Number 11, Matt Hardy, yeah. WrestleMania 24. Speaking of Matt Hardy, this may not be Matt's biggest return to WrestleMania, and oh, we'll get to that, but Matt Hardy's surprise run in during the Money in the Bank ladder match was one of the best moments of a very good ladder match. When the answer of whether or not MVP and Matt Hardy could coexist turned out to be a resounding no, Matt ended up on the shelf for over four months. In his absence, MVP continued his reign as US champion and qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match, which he seemed poised to win when the crowd all started rising to their feet and through that crowd came the returning Matt Hardy to hit a twist of fate from the top of the ladder and scurry away into a sea of Hardy wow. chance. Number 10, John Cena, oh, yeah. WrestleMania 32 and 35. I was gonna it's, say Waba- 35 the one the way he did a uh, Dr. Thugonomics? I do, but there really isn't an equivalent for the Doctor of Thugonomics, is there? As John Cena drifted closer and closer to a part-time schedule, his appearances at WrestleMania became a bit more varied. At Mania 32, he made a surprise return in the middle of his recovery from injury to help former foe The Rock ward off the Wyatt family. But yeah. by Mania 35, Super Cena was well beyond his days as a full-time wrestler, thus making his return all the more surprising and... I'm sorry. What the f*** are you wearing, John? I seem to recall you once punching a man for comparing you to the New York Yankees, and now you're oh, repping them? And yeah. you're from Boston? Oh, yeah. Couldn't be me, but like a broken needle, that is missing the point. Cena put a stop to Elias' WrestleMania concert in one of the more lively moments of the second oh, half of the never-ending WrestleMania 35. Word life. 
Number 9. Bianca Belair, WrestleMania 36 The first debut on this list, and had it been in front of people, I reckon this would be even higher. Bianca Belair had done just about everything there was to do in NXT except win the women's title, how that never happened will forever yeah. be beyond me, and her Bro. arrival on the main roster was inevitable, but rather than have her debut on what would have been the most lifeless Raw after WrestleMania in history, she got to make her debut at WrestleMania itself. It may also have been the most lifeless WrestleMania in history, but I don't care, it is a step up. Bianca arrives and helps the Street Profits fend off Zelina Vega's duo of Angel Garza and Andrade. What? It wasn't Andrade. Uh, Austin Theory took yep, Andrade's place? Yup. That can't be right. Uh, this right. This oh, right. Son of a bitch. Yup. I mean, that doesn't seem oh right, God. but moving on. Yeah, Bianca. It's crazy, if I got that, she, he used to be a Selena cut, uh, Clyde before he got sit back down because he, he got two dollars a air for one because of some incident and of the because they had to uh speak out uh incident. He was kind of under under that as under that as well too for a minute, but he he was cleared of all charges, or whatever. So that's why he wouldn't be you know, back on NXT. Pretty Bianca may not have had the most eventful 2020, and her on-screen partnership with the Street Profits may have been short-lived, but this will always be seen as the night that one of the most important stars in WWE history set foot on the main yep. stage for the first time. Number 8, the NWO, NWO, WrestleMania 31. Sting versus Triple H is a silly match, and it is a silly match that makes considerably less sense the more you think about it. In WWE... Sting should've won. I'm gonna leave it at that. Sting should've won. WWE's attempt to shove this square-shaped match into a WWE versus WCW round hole, they neglected nearly all logic by having the original trio of the NWO even the odds to save Sting from DX. Now, your educated WCW fans will point out that the NWO and Sting being on the same side is blasphemy on the highest level, and they are right, but this is the time when the f*** it, just have fun with it right. crowd is actually bang on the money. Yeah, Sting versus Triple H is very silly, but it is also a fun smoke and Mirrors match with cameos galore yeah. and X Pac the bumping for the old timers the in the most Friday Night Wars lived on. I think Michael said that spectacular Which way possible. Out. Don't get me wrong, the finish is offensive in the highest yeah, order, but real. seeing the NWO and DX square off was a sight most Attitude Era fans would have spent Never. years dreaming about, even if in their Never dreams they all happened. probably had a bit more hair. Number seven, Mick Foley, Shawn Michaels, and yep. Steve Austin, WrestleMania 32. From one group of WWE Hall of Famers to another, Mick Foley, Shawn Michaels, and Steve Austin. Austin answering the challenge of the League of Nations, League of Nations. earns its place keep, on this I keep forgetting their fucking name. list almost entirely for the pop that Steve Austin's music gets. Like I said it because our murmur and Roman Ray beat their asses after they got they, they screwed out of the top out of match as well to be all for well, shame to help Seamus and Big Day asses as well as Triple H's authority ass as well too. We'll go back and watch fan cams yeah, of this entrance well, yeah. just for that reaction. Texas loves their Steve Austin, man. The League of Nations beating the New Day doesn't make any fucking sense, but it does lead to Shawn Michaels oh, yeah. talking in the ring at WrestleMania. So I guess and every that, good thing comes at a price. So, Number six, so the Andre from, the Giant Memorial Battle. And that's Sullivan so from uh, Xavier Woods. Royal, yeah, WrestleMania 32. Fast here. forward two hours, God, this show is f***ing long, and you will reach the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Some Royal circa here. 2016. Probably the Mania Battle Royal with the most surprises of any of them. This match starts off with the returns of Diamond Dallas Page and Tatanka, two people I'm sure everyone in Dallas thought they were going to see when they bought their tickets, and the long-awaited in-ring debut yep. of future AEW star Shaquille O'Neal. Right. Ultimately, this was the closest- Holy, or is pen, the pen, the pen. This, that's all Shaq, like, no way. And he go, taking the show off, throwing the crowd, and everything. It got face face with Big Show. That was a cool moment, no lie. We ever got to a Big Show Shaq match, even if their interaction here was very brief. But of course, the most memorable surprise of this match came in the form of its eventual winner, NXT call-up Baron mm -hmm. Corbin. NXT hype was at a fever pitch at this time, oh, especially one day removed from the spectacular TakeOver Dallas. So having a new guy that people were excited to see get to win his debut match at WrestleMania definitely makes this debut stand out from the rest. Like a lone wolf, if you will. Number five, Ronda Rousey, yep. WrestleMania 31. Kinda Back when Ronda Rousey was still the baddest woman on the planet and an undefeated UFC megastar, her appearance at WrestleMania 31 felt like the biggest sports celebrity was, wrestling was moment WWE had put on in years. After one of The Rock's many, many WrestleMania returns, the authority tried to ruin the fun and remove him from quote unquote their ring, boo hiss, only for him to enlist the help of his future Furious 7 co-star, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. This was a different Ronda than the one 
one we saw just a few yeah. years later and a much different Ronda from the one that we last saw in WWE. Yeah. She stood in the ring with Trips, Steph, and Big Dwayne and like felt her. like the biggest star of the bunch before taking out the authority. And you know, I often wonder what Ronda's WWE career would have looked like if Holly Holm hadn't knocked her the f out. Definitely would have seen this tag match, I tell you that. Number four, Miss Elizabeth, WrestleMania 7. I mean, it's only one of the most emotional WrestleMania moments of these last 39 years. And honestly, what I love about it is it starts off so subtle. This isn't someone sat in the front row of TakeOver standing up to get their ovation. Gorilla Monsoon is just running down the next match and Bobby Heenan seems genuinely distracted, looking into the crowd before finally saying, I think I see Elizabeth, before a cameraman rushes to get a shot of her. It's as if she really really showed up on her own accord to see right. what would happen to the man she had so much history with. It's great, love that. But then we all know what happened next. The Ultimate Warrior kicked out of five straight elbow drops, asked God for help, then pinned Macho Man with a boot on his chest. A series of events that rightfully made Queen Sherry pretty upset. But just as she took her anger out on Savage, who should run down to make the save but Miss Elizabeth. The pair reunite as fans are shown crying in the crowd, mm -hmm. and it's just Perfect. It is a perfect bit of pro wrestling and one of the moments that helped shape WrestleMania into what it is today. Number three, The Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania 8. I mean, if you ignore everything that precedes this return, it sure is great. The main event of Mania 8 is wretched, with Hogan and Sid sitting in nerve holds for 12 minutes, Harvey Whippleman causing a DQ, Papa Shango running in late, and the whole thing being an unmitigated disaster. But as soon as that iconic music hit, the Hoosier Dome came alive to see the return of The Ultimate Warrior. There he goes, running fast and hard. You'd really think that given this was his entrance for his entire career, he probably would have thought to work on his cardio because that lad was blown the f*** up when he got to the ring. It didn't take away from the moment, however, as this was as loud as Indianapolis had been all night. A top-tier main event star making the return as the final happening of WrestleMania. That is something that has not happened since, but would always be guaranteed to create an ultimate WrestleMania moment. Number two, Cody Cody Rhodes, Whoa. WrestleMania 38. Adrenaline in my soul. Here's AEW Cody Rhodes. It will never, ever stop being surreal to me that after everything that happened right. in the life and career of Codicius Rhodes from Codicious. 2016 to 2022, we not only saw him walk the aisle at WrestleMania once more, but we saw him do it as the American Nightmare. This sure, this was basically an open secret by the time we got to WrestleMania with Cody's AEW departure being heavily publicized and his WWE return being considered a matter of when rather yes, than cool. if, but a new what main was. event player returning to the company as a mystery opponent in one of the biggest matches of WrestleMania was something that had never happened before. And it remains one of the greatest game-changing moments of this era of WWE. Add in the fact that the match he had with Seth Rollins was fantastic and the completely new approach of allowing Cody to retain 100% of his AEW presentation, and this is a WrestleMania Ooh, return that is rivaled right. only by one. And number one, the, the oh, Hardys, yes. WrestleMania 33. Oh, yes. At WrestleMania 33, oh, yes. Broken Matt and Brother Nero completed their expedition of gold in the biggest way possible. It is my personal headcanon that when the Hardys teleported away from Impact, they really did get lost in time space with the lone goal to capture tag team gold. They found themselves in Ring of Honor and eventually atop a ladder at WrestleMania once again. I wish I had the video of my friends and I reacting to this Man, moment to hand. For real. Not only because we lost I our minds to the extent down. that I lost. Especially with the way New Day did it. They made it seem like they was going to be the one that, that just, then they stepped back. They hear that, dum, 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 dum. they stepped back and then they came out. Oh, man. It's my voice for three days, but because we were fortunate Ooh, enough awesome. to miss Michael Cole's vintage call. <laughs> Not only is this the greatest surprise return in WrestleMania history, but this is one of the greatest surprise returns in WWE history, period. Yes. For a building without a roof to have gotten this loud just goes to show the love wrestling fans had for Matt and Jeff Hart and how big a deal it was to see them return to WWE after There's seven and nine it, years respectively. There's a lot of people also, thinking it might ha it's something like that might happen today. This, uh, this Russell Mayer for that uh, six pack challenge role too. This meant Jeff Hardy finally got his first Mania win. And ain't that just dandy. And that's our list. Please make sure, cool. of course, that you like this. So yeah, um, I just did a back-to-back -back one. I did this. So I think the only one left by these, I got I, I that's already out. I must do, um... I know for sure the next one I'm gonna try to do as soon as possible is the um is the greatest interest though. But I will do the greatest and, and worst match. Uh, probably be the last thing I do. Probably the day of. I have time as well too, or be part of our Friday. Either way, um, 
I'm definitely gonna do that last bit that for sure though. But other than that, um this was a cool video. My uh, most of the term that I, most majority of them I remember some was a little before my time of watching wrestling fully, like the uh WrestleMania, the earlier WrestleMania one with Ultimate War. I mean I remember that by uh, you know, like history, what looking back at history, but most of the ones I, most of the other ones I literally watched happen. And it was pretty awesome as well too. So yeah, um, other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Is there any other Davies return you think should have been on here as well too that can at least be an honorable mission or could have beat out some of the ones in the countdown? Comment down below. Uh, other than that, Shibuya T Bear signing off. One love.